Hi, I'm Victoria and welcome to my channel. I thought I would do a tutorial about gathering. I've seen it done badly so often and even in really expensive garments and I thought I'd just have to do a video about this. Now I'm going to show you a couple of my garments. This is a silk chiffon skirt and there's two layers here all fully gathered and they're three lengths of fabric, three drops of full width fabric and I think about 110 centimeters wide. So I want to show you a close-up. So I might put it on so you can have a look at it as well. It just swings beautifully, partly because I've got a deep hem on it which really it just adds weight to the skirt and when you walk it just swings it's absolutely beautiful and also this here is my um, rayon dress and this is three to one gathers in other words it's about the width of the fabric which I think is about 140 centimeters gathered into I think it's about 35 centimeters which is around about 14 inches so I've used the full width of the fabric and gathered it in as much as I can using two rows of stitching and the same with my skirt here, I've used three rows of stitching, three rows of gathering. Yes, I know it's pain when you're sewing, you think, oh, you've just sewn two meters of fabric or whatever. You've got to make sure that your, the machine spool has got enough thread on it, otherwise you have to gather up in sections. And also you have to, you know, you finish the row and you think, oh my goodness, I've got another two rows to do. <laughs> but believe me, once you're gathering it up, and if one of those rows breaks, at least you've got the saviour of another two rows. But if you're gathering one row and it breaks, and yes, it's happened to me many a time, the tissues have always been nearby. But if that breaks, you have to completely, you know, start again. So, and, and even when you've got it on the ironing board, you know, you're easing the whole time. And when you put the steam onto it, and then you can see the magic happens. Oh, it's wonderful. So I'm going to show you in a silk, uh, this is a silk chiffon, a silk georgette, uh, a cotton lawn I think this is, and also another rayon. Also something I want to mention is whenever you're going to cut out your fabrics, if you're going to be washing the garment, always wash your fabric first. If you're going to be dry cleaning it, like in this one here, I dry, it's got a dry cleaning tag on it actually already, um, is if you're going to be dry cleaning that garment, then dry clean your fabric first because there's always shrinkage, especially in rayon. Rayon is notorious for shrinking, shrinking especially when it comes to humid climates. <laughs> it just changes all the time. So do that before you even cut your fabric, okay? So let's get sewing some stitches to show some gathers for you. <laughs> Okay, something I just want to show you before I do any gathering is to make sure that this edge is absolutely straight, especially in silks. The best thing to do is, now they should actually do this in, in, short, in stores when you buy your fabric. The good ones, the, the good retail stores usually do it, but the cheaper ones probably don't. Just make a little cut from the selvage. This is the warp grain, this is the weft grain. And you want to get dead straight across the weft grain here. So if you can see this, just make a little cut, then pull a couple of the weft threads, two or three, and then start pulling. As far as you can. Now, if it's a darker color, you can actually keep pulling right across to the other side and you'll have a fine line to be able to cut. But this is, uh, I can see it, but it's very, it's very, oops, it's very faint. So I might pull and then cut and pull and cut as I go. You can see what I'm doing. And I know that that's dead straight. I think this edge was already cut quite straight, but my other edge might be, was cut crooked, I think. I mean, when you're cutting like this, you're going to get a few 
little oops, bumps. But at least you know essentially it's straight. Got a little bit of a burr in my scissors which is catching the silk chiffon. Not as straight as what I thought it was. Mm, yes, yeah, it has it has run out, so it wasn't completely straight. It's a bit tricky to pull out the threads when it's not much there. For example, have a look at this edge here. You can see that it is perfectly straight all the way along. This is after dry cleaning. I mean, I bought this from a very expensive store and this is a, an expensive piece of fabric, but it's been cut perfectly. There's no pieces sticking out. Now you might wonder why on earth am I showing you my kettle? Can you see the bits in the bottom? It's scaling. It's, I'm about to descale it. I have to descale my kettle around every nearly every month to get rid of all of this. This is what sits in your iron as well. So even though you have an iron that says it doesn't need descaling because it's got some special attachment down here, <laughs> really it's rubbish. You have to descale it. I mean this iron here, I've, I've always had good irons because I need a lot of steam. Um, but even this brand that I've got here, it says not to descale it. Well I've descaled it probably, I've had it for nearly two years and I've descaled it every month that I've, or every few weeks and it's perfect. But until I, until I did that, this iron, actually when I was using it one day and I was I had a piece of white silk chiffon and I, you know, I always test your iron first and spray it first before you spray it on the fabric. So I had done that and then I sprayed it on my fabric and all of a sudden all brown dirt came out. Oh my goodness, man. it was a, had about 50 centimetres of fabric which I had just wasted. I will say also it depends on whereabouts in the world that you live. I come from New Zealand so the water's a lot softer there so we never really had to worry about you know emptying our kettles or changing water so often but you know in Europe where I am at the moment the water's a lot harder. Also don't ever, if you're not going to be using your iron for a length of time, don't leave water and always empty the water out. Okay. So this is the silk chiffon and using just one row of stitching, one row of gathering thread. It's not easy. It gets all bunched up here, can you see? So you can see it's quite puffy here. I've still got to keep pulling out the, the 
top section so it doesn't get all pushed underneath. It's still a bit puffy, even though I put a lot of steam onto it. So now I'll do it with three rows. Okay, try and keep the rows even if you can, like this here. And obviously when you're going to do the three rows, you do need a bigger seam, so just take that into account. But I only do the three rows in finer fabric like this. Most of the time I do two rows. So I'm just pulling the, the top three here. It depends, sometimes you might find it easier to pull the bottom three, but my tension's pretty even on my machine. Hold them all together quite firmly and then start pulling and you want to keep that tension there the same all the time always keep the three of them together. If you let one loose then you've got trouble. And see straight away it makes life a lot easier when you're gathering. from the other side. Again, I'm pulling the top three. I'm holding it really firmly. So you can control it much better. I mean, as I say, it is time consuming to do the three rows. I'm holding it firmly here. See, it's so much neater, so much easier. tighten it on measure how much it is. So this fabric is I think it's a hundred and ten centimeters wide. Let me measure it. Oh no it's 145. So it's 145 centimeters into or 16 centimeters. It's amazing isn't it? <laughs> it's very fine fabric. So now let's steam it. 
Okay, so you don't just steam it like this. Get some pins. I mean, you, you would have secured the ends, whatever your measurement is, or your final measurement. So in this instance, I, I'm unpicking it because I'm using a full length of fabric. pins along into the gathering, put quite a few because you're going to be pulling on it, you want to create some tension. Okay, so pull it, flatten as much as you can, try and get it all even through here. I haven't tied it off so okay <coughs> now get your hand and try and keep it nice and even position all the gathers. So don't ever put the iron flat on it, just hover it and give it a lot of steam. And then you can use your hand just to... Okay, fantastic, isn't it? I'll stitch it onto this piece of band that you can have a look. Okay, so now I've just sewn it onto a piece of band so that you can have a look at the full effect. I've pinned it on the band and I'm pulling quite firmly here with a lot of tension. Just hold on to it a few seconds as it cools down and then just do the same as you go along the skirt, along the gathers. A lot of, I've got a lot of tension here using my fingers. Keep it firm. And keep the tension on as it cools down. And there's the last piece. Okay, let's look at this. So it looks great, doesn't it? <laughs> it 
So quite often when these dresses are on the stand, you know, the bride dresses there, they give them a final steam like this. Expensive gowns they use in cotton gloves. <laughs> So that's using three rows of gathers and I'm using the full width of the fabric to pull it in really, really firmly. Nice luxurious finish. Okay, so this now is rayon and I'm just using two rows of stitching. Pull it in as tight as I can and I'll measure that as well. So it's a, it's a lot heavier fibre than the silk chiffon. I mean all natural fibres look fabulous when they're gathered. You can't really do this with um, uh, synthetics as you know like polyester they puff out a bit more. And I don't have any polyester to show you because I can't wear it and I don't like it. I much prefer natural fibres. Okay, so that's I pull that in pretty, pretty firmly. So it's quite thick for the needle to go through actually. Just measure what that is. That is um, 16 centimeters. Just trying to measure because I didn't measure right. I didn't gather the whole piece of fabric. I'll just measure what I gathered in. So that's 90 centimeters into what did I say? 16 centimeters. So again, it's, it's gathered in beautifully. Okay, now we'll do the same thing. We'll put a bit of tension on there. It's heavy, it's taking a few more pins. I can feel it's heavy straight away. Now, I don't know if I said before, but the, uh, the iron's on the, very, on the hottest setting for the steam and all natural fibres can take a lot of heat. Polyesters and synthetics can't, can't take heat at all. See, so it's shrunk down beautifully. This makes life a lot easier when you want to sew it onto the bodice or to a band. Because it's all nice and even at the top here. Oops. Okay, let's stitch it onto my little band and I'll show you again. This is the rayon stitched into the band. I've got a lot of tension on this. It's a very heavy fiber. This dress of mine when I wear it in the summer it's quite hot around my legs. Very heavy fiber to wear. 
pants, but it feels beautiful. It swings around your ankles, fabulous. It's lovely in pants and palazzo pants as well. So it looks good, doesn't it? Okay, so here it's the cotton lawn that I'm pulling in. Now this is a puffier fabric um, than the rayon and silk uh, chiffons that I showed you because they're drapier fabrics. And I've just used the two rows. Pull it in as far as I can. I didn't realize that halfway I was sewing and then I had a big cut out the side. So I just gathered in a small portion of it. Okay, this is actually a 110 centimetre wide fabric, but I'm just going to measure just the section that I gathered in. So that would have been about 10, yeah, uh, 15 centimetres less. Okay, so I'm only gathering in um, 95 centimetres of the fabric into, oh, I didn't measure that, um, into about 13 centimetres. Even if you were doing a really heavy wool, you would do the same process. You would do, use two or three rows. Uh, obviously, it's not going to gather in as, as small as these finer fabrics, but it's still beautiful. And if you look at some of um, Dior's styles from the 50s, oh my goodness, they're beautiful. Some of them are bias cut circles gathered in. Stunning work. The old master couturiers were magicians. See, so it takes a bit more for it to flatten. So I've got a, I've got a lot of tension on here. I'm, I'm really tugging it. So you do need to secure your pins quite firmly into the ironing board. So this onto the band and have a look at it. So I've got a lot of tension on here. Because it is a puffier fabric. Now here's the cotton lawn, or cotton voile. <laughs> looks lovely, doesn't it? So it is a puffier fabric, but it still looks beautiful. And it's the two rows that really helps it. Now if you had a fabric that was a border print, so in other words, the print would be along the selvage, you would have to turn it around and do your gathers, if you wanted to gather the skirt, along the selvage, which is the warp grain. Now it's the stronger grain, so of course when, they, when you do gathers that way, they do puff out more. It's much better for gathers to go down the warp grain because it's the heavier and the stronger grain. But if you have a design that you want on the, on the hem, then <laughs> there's nothing you can do about it. But you know, this treatment really does help in that instance. See 
how it swings out that's because I've got the weight in the hem with the very deep hem as well as I've got a it's a voluminous amount of fabric in here and that's what makes it feel wonderful and it just swings out also I don't have any heavy lining in there I just have two layers of heavily gathered chiffon or Georgette and that's what gives it that lovely diaphanous sort of look and and beautiful feel against your legs also I don't put my gathers right up to the waistline with the waistband I actually make a hip bask like I've got here I'll bring come closer to show you and what that does is it's a mu it's so much more flattering over your uh, stomach area and then you can wear tops and it sits flat and then the skirt looks like it's just a continuation so it's so much more flattering than having gathers come right up to your um, waist area and if you've got a top sometimes it puffs out over that and you're, oh. so this is so much more flattering don't you think so I hope you found this little tutorial helpful I mean if there's anything else you'd like to know just let me know in the comments below um, I hope to bring you a lot more of these and if you'd like to subscribe uh, that would help my channel as well it's just a little channel at the moment just growing <laughs> so I really enjoyed doing this and hopefully I'll see you again soon bye <laughs>